Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn about the parsha. This week's parsha is parsha Tazria Mitzora. That's right. Two names. Let me show you. Tazria and Mitzora. See that? Let's sing our parsha song. The parsha of the week is Tazria Mitzora. Tazria Mitzora. Tazria Mitzora. The Parsha of the week is Tazria Mitzora. Parsha Tazria and Mitzora. Can you say that? Tazria Mitzora? That's a long name. All right, let's see what's in this week's Parsha. So we have two. In the first Parsha, in Parsha Tazria, let me show you my felt board, we have a picture of a mummy. A mummy. She here's a mummy. She had a baby. See, that's her little baby. When a mummy has a baby, after she has a baby, she goes in the times of the Beit Hamikdash. She would go. So, in the times of the Beit Hamikdash, the mummy would take, would go take a special present, a lamb. She would take it to the Kohen and give it as a present. Why do you think the mummy's going to give a present to the Kohen? Here, Kohen, here's a present from me, from mummy. I'm giving you this present because I'm so grateful and so happy that Hashem gave me a tiny little healthy baby. Okay, so you give that present to Hashem because I'm so grateful. The Kohen would say, okay, mummy, I'll give that present to Hashem. And that's what a mummy would do in the times of the Beit Hamikdash when we had a Kohen. Kohen would give presents to Hashem. Now we don't have a Beit Hamikdash, so what do you think a mummy could do when she has a baby to show how thankful she is? Maybe she could say a special tefillah and pray, or she could make a party to show her gratitude for her new little baby. But in this parsha, we learn about gratitude, about saying thank you. When someone gives us something so precious, especially a brand new baby, we feel grateful. We can show how grateful we are by saying thank you. Okay, that is about, that's what happens in the first parsha of this week. You ready to learn about the second parsha? So we'll take away the mummy and her and her baby and her present. In the parsha Metzora, in the second parsha Metzora, we learn about what happens when a person speaks in unkind ways. When someone talks about somebody else in a not kind way, their body starts to get unwell. So this man wasn't speaking so nicely about his friends. He was telling his friend something not nice. Do you know what that's called? It's called Lashon Hara. Lashon, Lashon Hara. Bad talk. It's not kind to talk about other people. So sometimes, in the times of the Beit HaMikdash, the person's skin would start to turn white. See that? He would have something that his skin would become, um, become white. See that? And he would have to go to the Kohen to get it fixed, to see what the Kohen could do to help him. Because his skin got sick. You know why his skin got sick? Because he was speaking not nicely, not nice things from his mouth. When we speak not nice things from our mouth, sometimes our bodies don't feel good. When our bodies don't feel good, they can get a rash. In the olden days, in the times of the Beit HaMikdash, this person would get sora'at. Can you say that? Sora'at. Sora'at is a type of skin condition, like a rash. The skin wouldn't tur would turn white. Okay. Now, when that happens, the man would go to the Beit Hamikdash and speak to the Kohen. Go to the Kohen, and he would say, Kohen, look, I have a rash on my hand. Do you think that's Torah? The Kohen would look very carefully. He would look and he would say yes or no. 
and say, Oh, yes, Yehuda, that's the man's name. You have Torah, you have something on your skin. I'm so sorry. You're going to have to go away from all your family and friends outside the city and sit there by yourself until it gets better. So let's say this is his house, Yehuda's house. He's going to have to go all the way away outside here by himself until his hand gets better. He has to wait. Maybe he has to wait one day or two days or three days. He's got to be quarantined. Are we, did you know anyone who's quarantined from Corona? Well, in the times of the Beit HaMikdash, if they got Sarat, which is a type of disease, they would have to be quarantined until they got better. Now, you probably understand that, right? Because you've, we have Corona now, and lots of people are being quarantined when they're not feeling well. Now, this Yehuda would start to feel better. Let's say his Sarat went away. He couldn't go back home yet. He still had to do something else. What would he do? He would go to the Beit HaMikdash, back to the Kohen, and say, Hi, Mr. Kohen, guess what? My Torah is all better now. The Kohen would have a look and check to see if his hand was better. And if it was, he would tell Yehuda, Yes, your hand is all better. Now we are ready to purify you. And Yehuda, the, the Kohen, would take Yehuda to a special place, and give him a special, um, like a medicine. Some he would use um, special herbs, and he would make Yehuda, Yehuda's body and his energy all pure, so he was ready to go back home. And when he was finished, the Kohen Gadol will tell Yehuda, "Okay, Yehuda, you're all done now. You can go home to your family, but be careful not to speak any more lashon hara, so you don't get to ra'at again, okay?" And Yehuda would say, oh, thank you, Kohen, so much. I appreciate you helping me get better and get pure, get tahor. When a person is pure, they're tahor. When they're not pure, they're tamay. Can you say tamay and tahor? So now Yehuda's tahor. He's pure. He can go home and go back to his family. See, there's, his, there's Yehuda. And there's his wife and his baby. And they're all good. They're ready to go out for lunch. All right, friends, I have a Lush and Horror song for you. Are you ready? Here it goes. Let's sing along. along. Sing this song. One, two, three, go. Skip, skip, skip Lush and Horror. Skip, skip, skip Lush and Horror. Skip, skip, skip Lush and Horror. Watch the words you say. Skip, skip. Skip Lush and Hara, skip, skip, skip Lush and Hara, skip, skip, skip Lush and Hara, say good words each day. Lush and Hara, go away, Lush and Hara, go away, Lush and Hara, go away, Lushan type, come my way! Lush and Hara, Lamed, hey, Lush and Hara, Lamed, hey, Lush and Hara, Lamed, find something good to say. Skip, skip, skip Lush and Hara, skip, skip, skip Lush and Hara, skip. Skip, skip, Lush and Hara, it will surely pay. Skip, 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 Lush and Hara, skip, 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 Lush and Hara, skip, 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 Lush and Hara, Mashiach will show our way. Hooray! Come on, everybody, skip on! Yes, we sing this song! Skip, 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 Lush and Hara, skip, Alright friends, that's it for today. I hope you loved that song because I did. I think it's a really good idea to skip Lush and Hara. So until next time... Bye-bye.